Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today on Art Joy is Sharing, Chelsea and I were uh, working on a project. Um, Shell was doing a page with a faceless image, and so I was talking about, you know, how you can create an image for your journal page. Um, this is just a rare off piece, and I'm showing how to turn that into something that can be used on your journal page. I also have a journal page where I have sketched out an image. Um, and I'm going to show you a few stencils and a few um, stamps that can also be used for this process. Now, there was some confusion about faceless images. and. Um, many times in art, you will see uh, faceless images. You, you get an impression uh, from the image, even though there's not an expression in a face. If you look at art from people like P. Buckley Moss, um, she uses imagery that does not have a face, or you know, some of the little uh, statues that are angels that are faceless. Um, Many of the silhouette uh, type stencils and stamps are faceless. So, you know, they are used quite often in art. Here I'm using a Dina Wakely stamp and just removing the facial expression by wiping the ink off of the face so that you can add your own face or leave it blank however you want. This one I left the facial expression on and just added some clothing to it. But you can see how you can create these uh, different images. Right now, uh, one of the things that's trending for September is faces. Um, things like 29 faces and uh, there's another group that's doing faces. So um, I think that's where this whole face thing came about. And so Shell and I are kind of facing off with our artwork today. And um, I'm just starting with this Arnold Grumbacher double page spread. And um, these pages will, you know, pull out of the journal. So I've done so just to, you know, keep it clean. And I'm putting a coat of gesso down, just using a key card to spread that around and you know it's just a thin coat and then you know I'm going to incorporate the um, prompts from Art Joy is Sharing for the month. Um, we have a pick a stick challenge each month and we also have a mood board each month so um, I'm going to incorporate the colors from both of those because they are similar and the prompts from uh, the Pick a Stick Challenge. So the first prompt on the Pick a Stick Challenge is pool. So I'm using this uh, pool blue color and I'm using a stencil that reminds me of water or uh, pool things. So I'm just gonna paint out imagery using some of those blue colors that are part of the challenge. So next up is arrow. So I've kind of brushed uh, arrow shapes on the opposing page and um, I, will, I will come back to arrow later, but um, I'm going to mix up some paint in the pecan color and use that as my flesh tone. Um, you know, not everybody has the same skin tone. So I'm gonna pick a pecan color for this particular girl and uh, paint her out. And let's see, I'm gonna leave some floral space here. Um, when I look at the 
put in the pot mood board, there are some oranges and golden colors like wheat in that mood board. So I'm going to use that in the floral imagery on here. And then I'm going to incorporate that dark blue or the denim color from the mood board into uh, this page also so that we're incorporating all the colors from both the mood board and the pick a stick challenge. So um, next up is pen. And because this is very wet, um, the only kind of pen that I can use right away would be a Posca pen because it also is acrylic paint. But I will use several different types of pens to finish this out. Um, and prompt number four is attach. And so I'm going to end up attaching um, quote to my page. Um, I'm not using a punch. I am using color because I have a lot of different color on here. And uh, I am using a rag for some cleanup. So um, I think I've met the six prompts from the Pick a Stick Challenge. And I've also met the uh, challenge for the mood board just with the colorization, the, the this is very uh, farm oriented and there's not a lot that's farm oriented on this uh, girl page, but there are flowers. So, you know, they could be a field of flowers. Um, so, it, you know, it's open to interpretation. That's what I'm saying is these prompts are just there to help you get started making your art. So I really seem to be struggling with this. Her eyes are in the wrong spot. Her nose is in the wrong spot. And so I'm trying to make some corrections. Um, yeah, didn't think this through a whole lot because I just sat down this morning. I wasn't even sure if I'd be able to get on the internet because, you know, we've had the storms here. I've been using a hotspot. Um, Shell is trying to host this morning because i um, not sure if I'm even going to have a stable connection. And uh, trying to do a little shading. I will mix the... Um, blue and um, what do I call that pecan color together to create my shade tone. Um, and I will add some uh, woodies. They're a water soluble pencil. Um, because it's something I'll be able to write over the surface with, even though it's kind of wet. And I can use a um, water brush and blend it out. And that's what I'm doing here. The dark blue is from the woody. So I'm still fussing with this space. Um, it's been about a month since I created you know, with the storms, with the travel, with the uh, illness, with everything that's going on here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I haven't really been creative. And, you know, when it's been that long since you've created, sometimes you really struggle to get back into it. Um, probably a lie wasn't the best way to go, but, you know, it kind of forced me into doing some more. So, there's those arrows on some washi tape, and that's another layer that I'm adding. Um, I'm adding some polka dots too, and I'm gonna repeat that polka dot pattern, uh, creating some lace effects on her dress on the opposite page. 
just trying to get this uh, pen to write. I'm really kind of forcing it because we're getting towards the end of the show and you know, hour and a half is not very long to create. I'm thinking about attaching. <laughs> These flowers are way too big, so they're not going to go on there. But, you know, you get the drift. I'm thinking about what else I can do. So I'm going to attach these, uh, this quote. And uh, that's about it for our hour and a half show. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come and join us on our joyous sharing. And uh, be sure and check out what everybody is doing with these different prompts um, because they have a lot of pictures and things in our albums in that Facebook group. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, be sure to uh, like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notification. And I will see you all again very soon. Um, hopefully I can get back to creating on a regular basis and uh, able to share more. But we shall see. We shall see how long I've got connections here. My internet line is on the ground and not looking real good right now. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for stopping by.